It's so beautiful around here. I really want my grandchildren to be able to play in these ponds and rivers and creeks and to enjoy our natural resources. So if what Gasland said is true, I really wanted to know. I started with the biggest question. Is the U.S. natural gas industry good or bad? I'd seen one man on TV a lot, John Hanger. He'd even been in the movie Gasland. Up until just a little while ago, he was the secretary of the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection. He seemed like a really smart man, so I went to his office. Until recently, you were the one in charge of um, keeping the Pennsylvania environment clean. My family and I have a dairy farm in Susquehanna County, and we watched the Gasland movie. And should we have some concerns about this natural gas stuff? Well, the Gasland movie is misleading. It, it has a mission. Uh, it, the mission is to shut down the gas industry. Uh, it's very effective at stirring mm -hmm. fears. Uh, the, the truth uh, about gas drilling is much more complicated and complex than uh, what was presented in Gasland. The, the, Josh Fox and others say the frac fluids, when they go down the hole, come back up and then contaminate people's water wells. That's not the case. We've never had one case of frac fluids going down the gas well, coming back up and contaminating somebody's water well. This is an industrial process. It does need to be uh, properly regulated, indeed strongly regulated, in order to assure safety for those who do host it on their land. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the truth is that gas itself is a much uh, cleaner burning uh, fuel than uh, coal or oil, which are our two main alternatives. Uh, I'm not going to suggest to anybody here that gas is perfect. It's not perfect, but we don't have a perfect fuel option. You can't do any industrial process and have zero impact on the environment. If, if that's the standard, there's going to be no coal, no oil, no natural gas, and no wind, no solar, nothing. <laughs>